Hello, I'm Mohamed Al Garabali. I'm uh, 18 years old from Kuwait. I play midfield, and I'm the first first year here at Raisa. Thank you, Mo. And what was it that made you choose to come onto the Raisa program? Well, uh, honestly, uh, I was thinking about universities, but I've always wanted to play football later on in my career. Uh, so my friend Ramsey, he told me because his brother was in Richmond, and he told him about this program. So when Ramsey told me about this program. Uh, I thought like football and uh, and academics both, so I'll have I'll always have a plan B. And uh, actually, there's a funny story of how I came here. Uh, yeah. Last season, Ramsey was at the five three Arsenal Chelsea game, so I told uh, Ramsey told me Van Persie is gonna score a hat trick. So I told him if Van Persie scores a hat trick, I'll take you out to dinner. And in that dinner, he told me our lottery. So. Oh wow! So every time I see him, I tell him Van Persie is the reason I'm here. Yeah, so you've got a nice football exactly. story that sort yeah, of brought you onto the program. Because when I take when I took him out to dinner, the two days before, his brother told him all about uh, about Ray. So, or I think that's when he came back. Yeah. That's when he came to visit. Brilliant. So yeah. So yeah. it's a case of different synchronicity moments that have come exactly, together. Exactly. Yeah. Just all down to a bet on football. <laughs> exactly. Now I'm here. <laughs> and are you glad that Van Persie scored the hat trick? Yes. Good. good. Very good. Okay. Um, and how is life different here to what it would be back home? Like, What's the sort of difficulties with well, being the, away from the home? the biggest difference is the weather. Because uh, back home, during the, the whole... There isn't four seasons. There's only summer and winter. And it only gets cold for about a month or two. But here, like, ever since I came, probably like since September, it's been raining and raining. So obviously, the, like, in terms of football, it's different because you have to get used to playing on wet pitches and how like to keep the ball on the floor because it's all different. And back home, also it's humid, so it's hot, so it's different. Other than that, um, it's easy to get like used to everything. Good. And how about the cultural experience around England? Have you what have you been doing with your time when you're not studying or when you're not playing football? Well, uh, honestly, and since I'm. Uh, I didn't get my international clearance till recently. Yeah, you're the youngest student on the yeah. course, aren't you? So uh, on weekends when my friends are out there playing to keep myself uh, happy and instead of just watching TV on the weekend, I actually go out to Premier League games. I go out like wherever, like Manchester, or sometimes even London, if there's a big, because I'm a huge Arsenal fan, so if there's a big Arsenal game, I go there just to keep myself occupied. Good. So you've had the opportunity to have a look around the whole country and yeah, I've follow been, your favourite football team. I've, I've been to London, Manchester, and Birmingham. Wow. Yeah, I think I think that's it. That's the main cities in England. Yeah. Then you pretty much covered them. <laughs> exactly. Good. So Mo, um, how does the coaching work on the program? Uh, sort of tell me a bit about the different coaches you have, or the structure of coaching, the intensity of it. Well, uh, we train every day of the week except Wednesdays, well, that's academic day. And uh, I really like the coaching level, it's very high and they always expect you to push and do your best. And uh, like the coaches, like for example, Dai, they see, they see some stuff that we don't see. For example, there's players that came here and signed up for a midfielder or an attacker, which are playing centre-back right now. And, uh, and they, they learn to love it because that's, that's where it best suits them. So I really like the coaching here because they always push you and make sure you do the best and just just help you in all ways. Yeah. And how does that compare to coaches you've had in the past? Well, uh, honestly, uh, I've had coaches in the past, but some of them were good, but some of them, most of the time, like we didn't do actual training drills, maybe just like a bit like passing or something, just go ahead into a game, which was, which was very bad. And... Uh, how we cooled down after each practice, never used to do that before. It just warmed up before practice, but never actually cooled down after. Which is, I think, now this is like, I feel like a professional, because it's a very high level. Yeah, so you, you work your body very hard that you, exactly. you're forced, you need the cool down after training. You need to do stretches and everything, because they're right, if you don't, because we, we play football a lot, so if you don't stretch every day, you don't cool down, then you'll just get injuries. So it sounds like this physical side of your game and your life has really picked up a step once yeah, since coming on the program. Yeah, and uh, for example, uh, I realised when I went back home for uh, 10 days in the fall break, 
uh, I, I started running a bit and like I, I played with my brothers a bit and I realized that my fitness level was very high higher than it used to be so just after two months from being exactly. away from home so, so who knows after a year or two how it would be yeah brilliant but you must be working hard to be stepping exactly. up the levels so. exactly going like not only practice going to the gym whenever yeah. i can and yeah just building up okay thank you so it seems that your fitness training has stepped up a level physically um how does that work with the rest of your time can you still manage to fit in your academic studies yeah, obviously, because when we have practice, when, I, when I'm done, maybe rest an hour or two, then I have the whole day. So that's when I do all my work, and, and this is all about time management. So th thankfully, I'm good at time management, so I know when to do all my work. And uh, I'm, I'm really good at the academics and uh, at the football, which, is, which just makes it all better. Because when you have time management and when you're know, in classes, pay attention, not fall asleep, get enough sleep, eat the right food, it all works out. It seems like you've managed to overcome a lot of the problems that some other students struggle with. Yeah, of course, because I see some of the, the, some of the students when they come, like they're too sleepy or something. But I, like, I have a thing for me, every day I have to have at least eight hours of sleep. So I time myself when do I have to wake up. So I subtracted by like eight hours and have to be bed at that time. That's a very mature viewpoint <laughs> for someone so young. Yes. So Mohammed, when your time at Bayesa comes to an end, where do you see your future? Well, uh, honestly, I've always wanted to be a professional football player. But as we all know, not everyone makes it professionally. But thankfully like, to this program, I'll always have a plan B. So obviously I'm going to try to make it professionally and if I, I can't, I'll always have a degree so I can go back home and just work, try to find work and just be successful. So you feel confident with steps forward for the future? Yeah, obviously I, I feel I'll always have a plan and not be lost in the future, whether it's in football or in academics and business or anything. So you feel well set up? Yes, very well set up. Okay, well thank you very much, Mohammed. Is you. there anything you want to say to your friends or family back home? Uh, well, I miss all of them. Miss, I miss my family. Can't wait to go back home in winter break and see all of them again. I love you all.